hey, I'm 35 and should I consider a building apprenticeship? Or what age is too old to be a builder? How old's too old to be an apprentice? Let's ask Dan. I'm 45 just starting, so never too old. I think you can definitely do an apprenticeship in your 30s or 40s. I think you need to have a solid understanding of why you want to retrain in that. Also, what are you trying to achieve? What's the end goal? Do you want a career as a builder or are you just trying to like upskill yourself? If you are just wanting to gain some more skills and do some better DIY kind of projects, there's way better ways to achieve that than committing four years of your life to get that skill. Is it out of frustration with your current job or are you glamorizing what you think life on a building site will be like? Rather than going all in, how about taking like two to three months off your current job and working with or for a builder? Basically look at it as like this. If you invest a month, two months, three months, and you realize, holy moly, building is not for me. Now that's way better than you totally quitting your job, totally changing direction, you know, making this huge life altering decision and committing the next four years and then getting a year in and deciding like, man, I thought it was gonna be like smoko time all day, but I'm really struggling with the digging and the nailing. At the end of the day, a builder, qualified or not, is still gonna have to chop wood, bang nails, you know, lift stuff, move stuff. They're gonna to have to work in the rain, they're gonna to have to work hard. And that work can be really rewarding, especially when you come from like a management point of view, like I did. I found being on site so rewarding and seeing like, even if it was digging 25 holes, I found seeing those 25 holes at the end of the day was so satisfying compared to some of my management roles where I felt like I was fighting fires all day and using a lot of my brain power, but then I had nothing to show for it. And so as a 25 year old, I took on an adult apprenticeship for a local builder here. At the time it was just me and him. He would have been what you would have called a more traditional carpenter. And we did everything in the house start to finish and a lot of little jobs as well. Basically it was just past the 2008 crash and work was still quite sparse. And so what my boss did at the time is that he would get us to do as many jobs as we could basically to stretch the workout and keep us busy. There was dumb jobs like digging, punching nails in, bracket nails. We spent two months doing this huge rock retaining wall and of course being the apprentice I was on like moving the rocks and I think that first year you have to prove yourself to the team and also to yourself you have to get stuck in you have to do it without moaning because at the end of the day if you don't do it one of the more qualified people on site is going to have to do it anyway someone has to do it someone has to go and dig 20 fence post holes someone has to go and nail off literally a thousand bracket nails unfortunately as a brand new apprentice usually that's your like induction to site and those are your jobs to do and that's not just because that's beneath the builder but with that repetition of using the hammer or the drill all day you start to learn oh, yeah. when I'm giving a first year apprentice a job I'm looking for that attitude. You do have to learn from the bottom up, but you will be a better builder. Think about like when you're qualified and you have an apprentice, you'll have an appreciation for what they're going through and you can, you know, relate to them and teach them a little bit better. And so I think that's important if, if you're not quite loving things right now, think about like, well, what will you do differently? Because one day, most likely you will be a qualified builder and you will be in charge of people. And so that's your opportunity to improve the next generation. I remember I'd watch the builder and he would just freehand with the skilly and just, he made it look effortless. And the same with nailing. It felt like I either miss or hit my finger or I'd take twice as many swings. And so I remember I was like scared of the skill saw to start with. And now I feel like I'm a little bit like my first boss where I've got the confidence to just be like, oh yeah mate, we'll just rip that down on the skilly. And I see those newbies on site and it, you know, reminds me that I was like that. It takes time to develop a skill. And so don't expect yourself to be awesome on day one or even in year one. There's a reason why an apprenticeship generally takes three to four years. Because it takes about that long for you to master enough of the skills to be able to say confidently, yeah, I can do that. A 
establish your why first. What are you trying to achieve? And is an apprenticeship the best way to achieve that? Sorry, I know that's not a yes or no answer, but such a big decision like that requires thinking. I think that's probably true whether you're 18 or 48 or anywhere in between. Before you commit to an apprenticeship, Number one, ask yourself why. And number two, if you're still unsure, dip your toes in the water, do some experience, get on site, get amongst it, and see what happens. So I know a guy who's 60, just starting his building apprenticeship, because he's been in the concrete game too long, it's getting a bit hard on his body. 